Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. So today we're going to do two pictures, and they are about occupations. So I need you to pick a number. Five. Five. All right. Okay. So we'll cross off number five. Let me find your picture. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you the picture, and you tell me about it and what occupation it is. Okay. So what do we see? Fire, uh, some fire. Uh, fire is uh, running uh, some side and uh, fireman coming and throwing the water. Uh huh. Right. So it's a fireman. In, it's we can also say firefighter. And what is he doing with the water? How do we describe what's happening? Yeah, it's a. Uh, he is uh, uh, removing the fire and uh, putting out the fire with the help of water. Sure. So we could say he's using the hose and he's spraying the water. Yeah, yeah he is supporting to the the uh, whatever the incident uh, to taking place. The location he is uh, helping with the all of them to uh, avoid the fire burning. Right. Okay. And can you tell me what is he wearing on his back? That is a. Extinguisher, something a uh, uh, fire extinguisher, something we call it as every everywhere it will be there for fire safety. Uh huh. It's called an oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. Oh. And what do you think? What is the purpose? Why does he use it? Yeah, to uh, to get off from the uh, uh, fire uh, any anywhere uh, sudden uh, fire uh, like. Uh, because happened so so immediately with the help of that oxygen we can remove okay. the so uh, if fire immediately with the help of that oxygen well the oxygen is for him to breathe do you see he has a mask on his face so if i'm sorry uh, he, he's wearing a mask on his face and so if he gets in a place where there's too much smoke and he can't breathe yeah he he is wearing the mask to uh, to protect his uh, nose and eyes with the uh, fire right and the mask is probably connected your voice is not uh, it is slow i don't know it's working hello? all right for me hello yes can you hear me Right, Your voice is slow. But okay, how about now? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I guess the connection's not working. Can you hear me? Your Your voice is slow. Well, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> I can suppose I can try to talk faster. Well, that's not going to work. Can Hello, Michael. How are you? Good. How are I you doing? You are, I'm good. Thank you. I hope you are doing well. I'm great. Thanks for asking. All right. So today the theme is uh, occupations or jobs, okay? So we just yeah. saw a firefighter. And now I need you to pick a number and we'll see another one. I choose two. Number two. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I will show you the picture. And let me find it here. And you just describe it. You tell me what is the occupation and what is the person doing or what kind of work do they do? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's a worker in the building. Okay. Uh, and he he put on a safety hat, right? And a lamber. What on his shoulder is it? What? R right. You could say a long piece of lumber, a big long piece lumber, of wood, yeah. right? It's, yes. Yeah, it's lumber. And I think he's a, a worker that he work for 
he, he works in a building. Okay. Building, yeah. Uh -huh. But there are some engineer, uh, building engineers behind this person that uh -huh. are pointing out to the building. Okay. Yeah. So, and, uh, go, go he's, ahead. He's, he's wearing uh, gloves. Gloves for protecting his her hand, his hand. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he is wearing a kind of shirt that he it's it's orange. Okay. Yeah. And he's young and strong. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he and he has a beard. <laughs> beard, yeah. He's wearing beard, yeah. 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 Sure. Well, we could call him multiple things. We could call him a builder. We could say a, a worker or a construction worker. Construction, uh, construction worker. And I think the people behind him, like you said, maybe they're the engineers, and he, they're the ones who do the talking and pointing, and he's the one who has to he carry the heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they are talking about the building, and, yeah, he's doing the work. Uh, but... Uh, can I ask you a question? What we call uh, the shirt that we is wearing? Uh -huh. uh, it's without her sleeves. Okay, it's called a safety vest. Safety vest. Safety vest. Yeah, safety vest. Yeah. And, and so, uh, the, go go ahead. The engineers, uh, they they said the. Their safety uh, safety vest are yellow, and uh, his safety vest is orange. Uh huh. Yeah. And the the thing on his head is called a hard hat, a blue hard, hard hat. hat. Yeah. Blue hard hat. Yeah. I and it. Yeah. in English, how do we describe the purpose of a hard hat? Uh, the hard hat protect our head uh, for some object that fall down from building from somewhere that. Uh huh. And, yeah. And what would happen if he took off his hard hat and got hit our, in the head? <laughs> our head is splash if we <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't. Yeah, don't wear a hard hat. Uh huh. Yeah, it's dangerous for our head. Right? It protects our head because uh, our head is uh, uh, a sensitive part our, of our body, sensitive organ. Uh -huh. That if uh, was hit by something, it's uh, pretend, uh, it's impede uh, the, the work of our body. Right. And when yeah. we look at his face, do you think he enjoys his work, or do you think he yeah. would rather be, be somewhere else? He's wearing a, a nice smile. He's looking forward to future, I think. Because okay. He's not sad, yeah. He's doing okay. his, his work with enthusiastically. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn around. And can you ask me a question about the the situation or the picture? The situation and the pictures. Okay. Uh, because in my country, a lot of workers or construction workers are not happy with their jobs. They call them uh, blue collar jobs. Uh huh. Yeah, blue collar jobs. Do you think that? Uh, uh, do you think that? Uh, um, well, how can I say that? Do you think that all of the works, all, all of the jobs, uh, are at, at the same level of dignity, or mm -hmm. should be respected by others? You know, for example, doctors, uh, people respect more. Uh, to the doctors than, for example, the workers. Uh -huh. Do they deserve to be uh, treat them better or not? For example, workers or doctors. 
What well, do you think about this problem? Well, they both provide value, but they provide different kinds of value, right? And yeah. the, the doctor, the doctor, the value that the doctor provides is more scarce. It's more unique, and therefore he can earn, he or she can earn much more money. Uh, the the laborer or the worker, they're valuable, but to the marketplace, they're not as valuable as a doctor or someone with much higher qualifications. Uh, I believe everyone deserves respect, but when we're talking about the marketplace and market value, someone who has more skills is more valuable to the marketplace and is able to get a higher salary. Yeah, um, what what we we should change our attitude about it. The old jobs and respect all of them in our society because everyone has value. Yeah, you pointed out a good uh, quote. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for coming live. Thank you for having me. Have a great time. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. Until next time. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm wonderful. Can I get your name and where you're from? Yeah, my name is Faven. I'm from, originally I'm from Ethiopia, but now I'm in the UK. Okay. All right. Well, my name is Michael. I'm from the US. Very nice to meet you. You too. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture, but I need you to pick a number for me to know which picture to show you. Eight. Eight. Please. Yeah. All right. Lucky number eight. Let's yeah. Do it. Let's see. I'll get your picture. Just one moment. So the theme today is occupations. And you will see an occupation. And just tell me what you see and what they do, okay? Okay. There we go. All right. All right. So let me adjust. All right. So what do you think? Uh, she is a cabin crew. All right, I cabin think. crew, right. She's yeah. part, of, part of a cabin crew. And so yeah. what is her specific position? Uh, it seems she is a supervisor, maybe. Okay, possible, sure. And it seems like she is in the airplane. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, before the passenger get into it. Uh huh. And down in the comments, Memo Cool 2018 says flight attendant. Yes. And Zara yeah. Sosani says stewardess. So there are two options. Sure, mm -hmm. flight attendant or stewardess. Uh huh. And yeah. if if it was a man, can we say stewardess or do we need to use a different word? I don't know. Uh huh. Well, now you do. I will tell you. <laughs> okay. If it's a man, we would say steward or flight steward. attendant. And okay. if it's a if it's a woman, we say stewardess or flight mm -hmm. attendant. Oh, all right. So you, okay. Right. And why do you think she is smiling? It seems like she's very happy about her job or she's she's satisfied. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, and she, who do you she needs to be smile all the time because <laughs> to provide her customers. Right. To provide good customer service, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, who do you think is taking the picture? Um, maybe from her colleagues. Okay. One of her colleagues. Okay. And... Uh, can you tell me three different things that flight attendants do as part of their duties? At least three things. Uh, they they provide service to the passengers. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you said what you said is correct, and within what you said, we could be more specific, right? So let me turn back uh -huh. around. Let's. See. They Aha, provide. Uh, Go ahead. They provide food and drink stuffs. All right. Uh, they can guide the passengers. Mm -hmm. They tell 
how the flight is going on something like right? that right right and what uh, did they what did they ask for when you first get on the plane they're like can you please show me your id this, passport well that's before you get on the plane right at the ticket counter but once mm-hmm. you get on the plane and they say can you show me your with your seat number what's that seat piece of paper called it's called the the boarding pass okay uh huh okay so you have we they serve food and drink they help people get to their seats and how about number 3 yeah. what else mm. Mm. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> what what if uh if there's an emergency on the plane then who helps the the passengers flight attendant if, sure sure if maybe mm-hmm. if a baby throws up <laughs> oh. <laughs> or if maybe someone is stuck in the bathroom or yeah. they need help then the flight attendants they kind of do everything right yeah mhm and do you like to fly yeah i like to fly uh uh-huh. <laughs> do you prefer to fly short distance or long distance short distance and why because i have phobia if i travel so much high aha uh-huh. and what kind of phobia fear of heights or of fear heights of height of heights fear of uh-huh. height aha uh-huh. okay all right can you ask me i'll show you the picture again can you ask me one question about the situation uh What is the emblem? Which air Oh boy. Airport is that? Oh. You mean which airport or which airline? Which one? And which airlines is the emblem shows to us? Hmm, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in. I don't know. Her name is Patricia. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know. Maybe uh, yeah, I really don't know. But if you ask me, I'd say she kind of looks like she could be a westerner. Maybe uh, maybe American, Canadian is possible. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just going to guess here. It could be Delta, it could be United Airlines. Something. I have mm. I have also another question. Okay. Uh what is the name in English? The thing that she put on her neck? around her um, neck. Ah. Huh. And the blue thing. The blue one. Yeah. Well, it kind of, I would call it a scarf. Scarf. A scarf. Okay. But but not a scarf for the winter, not to stay warm, it's more to like look nice, right? With the outfit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So here, I'll type it in the comments how to spell it. I'll put a apple by it because I like apples. <laughs> scarf. There we go. So she's pro- there we go. Memo cool typed it to a scarf. And it's like a scarf to look nice. Mhm. Oh. Okay. Thank you for Thank coming you. live. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, likewise. Bye. All right, Bobby. Hello. 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 I Do you hear we, me? I see we, I can but we have an echo. We have an echo. So, yes, it's a little so. bad the, the connection. Yes so yes I'm so I'm going to fix it if it keeps echoing I'm going to have I'm going to have to make sure because, 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 because it hurts my ear hurts my ear oh, Okay okay yeah. it's okay yeah. Do you want to try unplugging try your unplugging headphones your baby headphones, we can baby. give it a test give it a test Oh then I can't hear you speak Ah <laughs> 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 frustrated So let's, uh I'm going to try again Okay let's see Okay, I think it's better. This is, can you hear Let's see. I I can't hear you now. <laughs> ah, frustrating. Hmm. But now I hear you. <laughs> well. All right, we're going to try. Way. We're going to try. All right. Okay, pick okay. a number. Number 7. Number 7. All right. Maybe Instagram will magically fix itself. 
All right. Well, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Here's your picture. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, and uh, since it's your first time, what is your name and where are you from? Well, I'm from Venezuela. Uh-huh. And my name is Virginia. Virginia. Well, I'm Michael. I'm from Los Estados Unidos. Y mucho gusto. <laughs> mucho gusto. All right. Here we go. Here's your picture. Uh-huh. All right. Number seven. All right. So what do we see? Well, I see an old man. Uh, he has a white hair. Uh -huh. I don't know how do you call that kind of hair. Gray. Um, Maybe gray? In Spanish, well, in Spanish we say canoso, con cana. Uh -huh. But I don't know in English. <laughs> Gray-haired, gray-haired man. Okay, he's a gray-haired man. He's maybe a judge. Uh -huh. He works in in something related to justice, I suppose. <laughs> he's wearing a watch. Um, he seems very happy. <laughs> maybe uh -huh. he sold he sold a cake or something. Uh huh. <laughs> maybe he he found justice, <laughs> and he's so happy. Yeah. Yes, maybe, maybe, and and he feels satisfied because that's the the reason of his job. Uh huh. Okay, and so he's a judge. And what is the location? Where does he do his work? In the in the justice department. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> good, good answer. And you could say you could say in a room, in a big room. <laughs> But it's called a court or a courtroom. Ah, yes, yes, it's a courtroom. <laughs> ah. Now I, I remember. Right. And uh, what is behind him over his left shoulder? It's a flag. Okay. But I don't know from which country. Uh, or from which uh, institution. Uh-huh, right. It's The flag is folded up and it's just hanging so we can't see. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the position of his hands? Yes, because I watched a video uh, that you put on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, the position is, uh, let, me, let me see if I remember. Uh, her hands are no I don't remember I don't remember <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't well, remember, but I I've, I've heard that okay well we can say and I'll switch around so first his hands are on the table right so we can say they are resting on the table and then it kind of looks like one hand is over the other right so we could say one hand is resting on top of the other hand And both hands are on top of the table. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sure. And how do you call the the tool, the wooden tool? You know, when when he found justice, <laughs> that one. He's like order in the court, bang, bang, bang. Right. You call it uh, a mallet, I believe. It's kind of like a hammer, right? A hammer is a tool. Let me just quick check to make sure It's I'm giving you a wooden you. wooden hammer. A uh, mallet, mallet, uh-huh, it's called a mallet, and I'll put it in the comment, okay, and I'll put an apple by it, because I like apples, <laughs> so it's called a mallet, there we go, all right, all right, can you see where it says mallet, right, with two L's, okay, yeah, mallet, and mallet, it's, basically it's a hammer, but the specific word for him is mallet, And oh. when, when does he use the mallet? When people uh, get, uh, when people is uh, yelling or, or talking too much and he needs silence in the oh. court. Right. And I'm going to type in the comments what, they, what he will say. And I'll put it in quotes and in quotations. Order. 
In okay. the court. And I'll put it okay. with the exclamation mark because he's probably not going to say, order in the court. <laughs> he's going to be oh, like, court. order in the court. There will be order. Uh-huh. Yes, he needs so, to be with a strong character. Right. So that's one time when he'll use his hand his hammer to make people calm down so they can move forward. Can you think of another time when he uses his mallet? Yes, when the case is solved, I suppose. Uh-huh. Or maybe when it's finished for the day or for the session, then it's all over, right? It symbolizes mm -hmm. that it's finished for now. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe so, maybe he just did that and that's why he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's like, ah, my vacation is starting. I can go. Yes. <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you the picture one more time, and I'm going to ask you to ask me a question about the situation, okay? Okay. Whatever you want. A question about the picture. Sure, or the situation or something related. Mm. How do you call the the black suit that he's wearing? Ooh, it's the judge's I think it's called a, a gown. A gown, kind of like a Let's see. Uh-huh. The the so, one that people wear in the graduation, maybe. Yes, very similar. And there we have two options. You can call it a gown like uh what do you call it a graduation gown you could also call it a robe a robe a robe mm -hmm. oh, okay <laughs> wonderful lots of vocabulary today okay well thank you for coming live and thank, you're welcome thank to come you. back in the future okay bye bye thank you thank you bye bye, bye, -bye. here we are hello. hello hello michael how are you how are you, how are you? i'm fine how are you I'm great. I'm great. Uh, oh, I can hear oh, my I own hear my own echo. echo. Okay, well. We were able to fix it last time. Maybe we can I think it's better. Better? A little bit better. We'll give it a There's try. There's no echo. Well, there is an echo, but it's not really loud. All is right. it okay? okay? I think we'll try. Okay. I want to I want to pick number 3. Number 3, okay? Yes. Right. Lucky number 3. They're all lucky. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you a picture. Oh, okay. there it is. And you tell me what is the profession, the occupation okay. or the job and maybe what are some of the duties, okay? All right, here we go. All right, let's see. I think she's a cashier. All right. And what makes you think that she is a cashier? What information do we have? Because he holds some stuff in the um, uh mini market or something in market. And she is in front of the computer. to count um the price of the how to say that the stuff uh -huh. i don't know <laughs> right right you're right there is a way we can say she is ringing up the items ring on of the item okay I right if you give me just a second i'll type it in the comments she maybe i could use my audio thing She is ringing up the items. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. Ringing She up the items. Ringing. Oh, ringing up. Sorry my my thumbs are too fat. <laughs> It takes me a while to type. All right. She is ringing up the items. There we go. Can you see my sentence? I Okay, I I see that. She is ringing up ring up the items. Okay. I see that. Right. Right. Cuz sometimes I don't know if it happens everywhere but it would make a beeping sound. It would go beep beep beep, right? So they kind of call that ringing up the items. Uh-huh. 
Oh okay. yeah, ring job. Okay, okay. I see. And uh, can you tell me how does this lady feel about her job? Well, because she has a really big smile, so I think she is enjoy she enjoy his job. Uh-huh. And I enjoy. think she is enjoy her job right? to the customer. Mm. Well, I like that. She's she enjoy his job. Right? And we say she's enjoying her job, right? And let's see, do who do you think is taking the picture? <clears throat> I think maybe another cashier. Uh-huh. Her friend maybe. Okay. Is is it possible that it's a customer who wants to date her? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I th- I think so. It's possible. It's possible. It's really possible because she is uh, really good looking and she really beautiful. Uh huh. And <laughs> what do we what do we call? Can you describe her clothing? <clears throat> Well, she is wearing a a blue a blue coat. I don't know how to say that, but I I only know that it's a coat or a shirt. I don't know huh? how to say you, that. You could say maybe a blue long sleeve t-shirt long. or a blue long sleeve shirt. <clears throat> okay, a long blue sleeve shirt. Uh, a long sleeved okay. shirt uh-huh. a long sleeve okay long a long sleeve shirt right and, and what do we call the white thing that is around her neck and it's connected in front what do we call that is that a scarf or something like that it, well in this case it's not a scarf it's part of her uniform as a worker oh oh that is a part of the uniform Right and it's connected there's a strap that goes around her neck but it's connected to the white part in front and it probably goes all the way down in front of her. And so So how do you call it? It's there we go Zara Sasani put an apron and I'll type it as well it's called an apron. Right? Okay. So right. And what is the purpose of the apron? What Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Sehat ke? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry that. It's all right. What what is the purpose of the apron? I think that's after that. I think I have no idea. Well, the apron will just keep her clean and it maybe has pockets in it. Let's see. I'm going to turn back around. So, the apron just goes down in front. Oh, we have echo again. And maybe they put a pen or something in front or they can if their hands are dirty, it keeps them clean. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, it's starting to echo again. So, I'm going to Okay, it's because I have some guest here, so I I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Because... <laughs> it's okay. Go live your life. Have a yes. wonderful night. <laughs> Really sorry right. for that. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome back in the future. Yes. Thank you, Michael. Oh, hey, I remember you. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. And if I'm not mistaken, did you get a new haircut or a new hairstyle? Yes. Ah. Me yes. too. I got a haircut got... too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But I think yours is much more fashionable than mine. Mhm. Okay. So Are you ready? Here is your Yeah. 16 and 4. Oh. Number 1. That's number 7. <laughs> number 1. Number 1. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you a picture. Let me get it here one moment. And you tell me what you see. Um tell me what is the position or what kind of work do they do? Here we go. All right. 
Oh, listed. Itu di mana? Enggak tahu. aplikasi apa? Enggak di di ini. Okay, so, uh, she is uh what is it? Maybe she is uh account accounting. Sure, an accountant in the accounting department. Sure. Yes. There are, there are... on uh, finance, finance, about finance, and she uh, counting about uh, cash flow, cash sure. flow, cash flow, and uh, her company, and he, she is. Uh, She used a calculator. Calculator, right? Right, calculator. Calculator and uh, yeah, right. So, uh-huh. I'm just going to answer a question yeah. in the comment. Says Tuba Goose says, "Is it an accountant or a secretary? It could be both. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a butter." I uh, know secretary is not using calculator. I think. Uh huh. Well, do you uh, think it's a do you think it's a big company or a small company? Uh, it's a. Uh, this is an an average company. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, um, uh, she still use uh, an. <laughs> oh, the connection is. Oh, I think the connection is going. Yeah. Uh, what what happened? What happened? I think our connection is getting weak. We can try for a moment, see if it will work. Can you tell me some of the other stuff that is on her desk? Ah, uh, in her desk. What is that? In her desk, I can see uh, some. What is it? Uh, I don't know what. What is that? Well, what's this right it's, here? Do you think? Ah, uh, this is a a notebook, and a nut notebook. Sure, laptop, yeah. notebook, computer, right? And um, how about this? What do we call this? Uh, this is a. Uh, Uh, what is it? Monitor. How to say right. monitor? Right, monitor. Same thing in Indonesian, okay. right? Mo- monitor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the monitor. And what is that? Uh, the black one. I don't know. Oh, yes. Let's see. Uh, this one. Yes. What is that? I I think uh-huh. they're glasses. Her pa- a pair of glasses. But. So like that she might wear when she's reading or something, I think. Mm-hmm. And I that. In, in in front of her, there is a binder. It has these two things oh, right here. Oh. Yes, this binder. I know. Binder. Right. And what is that beside uh, her le- her right hand? Yes. Uh, It's possible that it's another notepad, or maybe oh. more paper. I don't know. Yeah. It's right. like an accessory. And do you think she likes her office? Uh, I, 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 I think she like her office because uh, this is uh, she. She look like seems like serious because she should. Uh, count uh, something. Uh huh. I think maybe, maybe she's she's serious because someone yeah. is taking her picture, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, I I need oh. to look like I'm working. <laughs> and when yes, when the camera yes. leaves, she'll be like, oh, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> How to say in English? Maybe it's like a uh, pencitraan, you know, pencitraan in Indonesia. 
pencitraan. Oh, how to uh, say it in English? Apa maksud? Putting out the image or trying oh. to rep- represent, make something look uh, good. Yes, it's, it's uh-huh. like a something like pencitraan. Putting something, make a, a good image. Uh. Yes, she's trying to build a good reputation, right? So ah, she wants good. people to think, "Wow, she's a hard worker." Did you see the picture? <laughs> and later yes. she's like, "Ah." I think so. Oh. Right? <laughs> and then she'll be on yes. Instagram and she'll be on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, every day people use uh use uh social media uh between their work activity. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, can you ask me a question about the the picture, the situation? I'll show you one more mm-hmm. time. Mm. What uh, how how many how many how many uh what is this? Uh berapa banyak? How many? <laughs> uh, how much uh, she should uh, count in, on her calculator? How much? Oh, how, how many numbers is she going to count, or how much money is she yeah. going to count? Eh, uh, I mean that. Well, <laughs> that I mean. think. I don't know. I think she's just pretending to use the calculator. <laughs> you know, if we went close, we would look at the calculator and be like, "Where are the numbers?" <laughs> she's like, "Oh." <laughs> I don't know. It could be a I don't know. Maybe I would agree with you. It's probably not a huge company. We're probably big enough so maybe thousands of dollars, maybe mm-hmm. maybe more. I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. I need to move forward. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Can I get your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Reza. I'm from Iran. Okay. My name is Michael. I'm from the US. Very nice to meet you. All right. Me too. <clears throat> So I'm going to ask you to choose a number and I will show you a picture. Number 6. Number 6. All right. There we are. Okay, lucky number 6. Give me one moment. I will find your your number, your picture. Okay. So you tell me what is the occupation and what are they doing, okay? Here we go. Okay. Maybe Here we go. Yes. Uh, dentist, uh, doctor, uh, scient- uh, scientist. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I heard doctor, dentist, scientist. <laughs> scientist, scientist. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm one? Uh, what, what, what is your What is your final answer? Uh, what is final answer? <laughs> well, look at the comments. They will help you. No understand your uh, conversation. Oh. Well, here, let me switch back. I, I heard you say uh, doctor, dentist, scientist. No, no. no. Many things. <laughs> <laughs> so dentist, which one? Dentist. Dentist, yes. And what what is the dentist? What is the dentist doing? Uh, dentist doing. Uh, if I uh, getting uh, to say, uh, uh-huh. I go to uh, dentist for healthy dentist healthy. Sure, sure. Yeah, the dentist will will check your teeth, look at your teeth, see if you have any problems, right? And yes. can you tell me how many people love to go to the dentist? Uh, I I think uh, 
uh, no uh, people uh, <laughs> like to go to dentist uh, but uh, 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 very hardly <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you 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 let me see I'll turn back around i i agree with you you could say hardly anyone likes to go to the dentist yes yes anyone uh, likes to go to uh, dentist <laughs> no you can say no one no one likes to go to the dentist and no one likes to go to dentist right and can you tell me why why do people not like to go to the dentist <laughs> Uh, repeat after, uh, repeat please sure why why do people hate to go to the dentist because uh, because yes yes understand uh, because uh, uh, very uh, headache very uh, stress and, uh, and i'm uh, uh, i'm worried <laughs> yes understand sure i'm worried i'm hate very 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 hate uh, no mm -hmm. uh, what well, you can just say it's it's uncomfortable it hurts you don't like people messing in your mouth uh it makes you feel maybe nervous or anxious you're like ah yes 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 uh, because it very uh, pain very headache uh, i'm uh, uh, don't like uh, go to dentist Mm -hmm. Me too. Me neither. I hate the dentist. But yeah. it's necessary. We sometimes we need to go, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. Necessary for healthy. Uh, -huh. uh your uh, checkup uh, six months uh, uh, uh one time six months. Once a six months. Once a six months, yes. Once a six months go to uh, dentist for checkup for teeth. Uh huh. And what happens if you never go to the dentist? What happens if you never? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, when uh, eating uh, very uh, very. Sweet, very, hold on, uh, very pin, pinar. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, uh, eating uh, very sweet, hard, uh, very hard things. Eating uh -huh. hard things, uh, my teeth uh, headache and go to dentist. Oh, ah, a, to a toothache. Ah, man, yes. it hurts. It's so bad. My mm -hmm. sister likes you. Uh, and uh, I speak with you. Okay. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How, are, How you? are you? Wonderful. I'm okay. And I'm do, okay. Do, do do you enjoy going to the dentist? Me, I don't <laughs> like. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And because uh, the uh, have a special noise, and I don't like that noise. Ah, do you mean the drill when they make a whole? Yes. Uh -huh. yes, it's very bad. Yes, and it is in my uh, never. Uh, it makes me nervous. Uh huh. I agree. I think it's common for people to have a fear of going to the dentist, right? Yes, yes, because uh, I think the doctor, uh, all the doctors have a. Uh, a figure, uh, some figure, a special figure that people cannot uh, uh, like that figure, for example, <laughs> and they hate the doctor. <laughs> and in the when we was uh, child, uh, all of the time our parents uh, make us uh, uh, make us uh, uh, fear to uh, go to the doctor and. Uh, they said, "Don't worry," and we say, uh, and we think uh, one thing is worry. It was for worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if <laughs> you if if you are the dentist, how do you make people feel relaxed? How do you make people feel calm? 
if I am a dentist, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe at first uh, I don't uh, uh, I don't uh, have a conversation, common conversation like a uh, this doctor, and uh, I make uh, so, uh, psychologists uh, for uh, this uh, my. Uh, Patience. Patience. Yes. Uh -huh. Sure. I think it's maybe good to talk and say, hello, how was your day? How are you doing? How have you been? Yeah. Or you could be like, sit down, shut up, <laughs> open your mouth. <laughs> yes. And people be like, ah! Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Well, I'm almost out of time. Let's see, can you guys ask me a question about the picture, okay? I'm going to show it to you one more time. Here we go. And ask me a question about what's happening. Uh, uh, what do you see in the picture? Ooh, I see an unfortunate woman or a kid. <laughs> get with, with the dentist probably getting a checkup. Maybe they're getting their teeth cleaned, or maybe they have a problem. Uh, the dentist is wearing glasses. He's also wearing a mask and protective rubber gloves. Uh, he has tools inside the person's mouth, and he is looking around. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good question. <laughs> very, very nice to meet both of you. I have to go. So, you're welcome to come back in the future. Okay. Okay. See you later. Okay. See you later. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Okay. All right. Two people at once. Wonderful. Ah, my time is perfect. I'm just, I have like one minute left before Instagram kicks me out. Okay. So, we got through seven today. That's pretty good, right? So we talked about occupations. We did a dentist, construction worker, a secretary or an accountant, a flight attendant, construction worker, a judge. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. All right. So, all right. There's so many people that want to join. Wonderful. But I'm out of time out of time for tonight. So I want to say a big thank you for everyone coming and everyone in the comments too thank you for helping out the people it helps out and give them the answer sometimes when we're a little bit nervous we're like ah I don't remember so okay Instagram tells me I have 25 seconds so I'm gonna say thank you have a wonderful day evening afternoon midday noon midnight wherever you are in the world okay see you soon <laughs>